Hello, welcome. Allotmenters, fellow borrow allotmenters. These. I have to borrow these. That's okay, you can borrow my gloves, my love. We are here. The weather said it wasn't going to rain today. Well, it said between between time. certain times and it is not between those certain times alas it is still raining but we'd already decided to come so Sam looks the part doesn't he today he's got his welly boots on body warmer hat I should put look a at that right you'll warm up in a minute Once I start digging. anyway we're here welcome if you're new got a mascot oh yes we've got little TB Ted Bean Ted Burt not dead <laughs> And uh, yeah, we're here. Hello. I'll uh, show you to the car because we bought some exciting things today. We went to the garden centre this morning. So, you know, that's always a good time. And uh, yeah, we spent a small fortune, but it's my hobby. You know, you spend money on your hobbies. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll show you what the back of the car looks like. <laughs> we're just reconvening with Ted. And I saw, oh my God. A daffodil! I think it's a bit early. I didn't realise I bought early sprouting daffodils. Oh my god, that's so exciting! We have life! We've produced life on the plot. What a great day. Right, let's go to the car. <laughs> this is the current state of things in the back of the car. There are several components here. Uh, mostly compost. There's also some wood, which I'll explain in a minute. Some weed fabric. This I'll explain in a minute, but it's mostly compost, also some cardboard we've been saving, so we'll unpack and I'll, I'll talk through what we've got. So first and foremost, the most important thing we've brought today is we've utilised our shiny new flask and brought tea. So that, very important, ignoring everything else, tea and snacks. Otherwise, <laughs> we bought some compost from good old Jobbies, our garden centre of choice. And they also had this on offer. Three pound a bag, I think it was. Three pound or three pound fifty bag. And it says soil enricher. Jitters, slugs, from renewable resources. No idea what it is really. Peat free, suppresses weed, enriches soil, feeds plants. So I think it's just like an organic thing. Just organic, organic matter. But it's not, it doesn't say it's compost, so I don't know. But we've got it because it was on sale and mulch is good. And then under there we've got some more compost. Um, and then also, hence why Sam's got his spade out, we also have bought, I have bought, purchased, um, in that little Amazon packet there, is a pond liner. So am I right in thinking you're going to start the pond? I will be digging digging out the pond which is great and then also yeah done a lot I got paid this month can you tell um <laughs> bought some wood to finish off the raised beds because I've been looking on Facebook and I just can't find any for free so I bought some and that should finish us off to be honest that should finish it all off there's 10 lengths of featherboard edging or whatever for fences I don't know and it was 22 pounds and they're 1.8 meters long so I don't think that was too bad um but yeah use that to make some beds got some screws we mean business today here for business so <laughs> let's get on with it let's make some raised beds let's dig a pond <laughs> let's rock and roll sausage roll like I think it's just like decomposed straw and stuff I think it's like one step before compost hence why they can't call it compost but 
What? Well, some of there's mud on top of it. No. Um, so, I think this is fine. Um, I think I'm going to start making these two beds now, because then I can put the compost in them. Hopefully it won't take me too long, but that's, you know, what I always say. Hello, and then I'm here for six hours. Um, I'll, bring, I'll take you back to the pond now. You've seen me build beds a hundred times. You've not seen us dig a pond before, so... I'll just say that these boards are pretty much the exact right length to make a square, so well done me on my absolute guesstimation of how big this bed should be. 10 out of 10. What are you staring at me for? Hey. <laughs> Sam's picked out a route behind, like under where the pond is, and Ted now thinks it's a stick. Danger. Anyway, this this uh, broadcast is uh, sponsored by my allotment mug that Sam got me for Christmas. It's fantastic. <laughs> Still raining. Um, it's not ideal conditions to be here, to be honest. I've got mud on my face. Of course I have. I'm meant to be going out for tea later. Can't have mud on my face. Anyway, I've just finished that bed. Looks great. It all fit together perfectly and I didn't have to do any sawing at all. So, winner winner for me. Gonna do the other one now. And then, we'll have all but one bed. Wooded. Wooded. -ed. Hey, Teddy. Teddy is a digger. He's a terrier, so he loves to dig. Which is kind of difficult if you don't want him to dig. So, we'll, uh, we'll see how we get this on. Sam's still digging the pond. Why don't you get Ted to help you dig? Why don't you get Ted to help you dig the pond? Give him a purpose. <laughs> not bathing him. He's going to the groomers next week. So I'm not bathing him. Anyway, we're all a bit soggy. Not the ideal day at the plot. But this is it as well. You don't just get your nice spring, summer clips of all your veg and everything without the graft you have to put in the graft first and then you get your reward we're proper gardeners now we come out in all weather including rain and drink my tea and then do another another wooden raised bed Debating with Sam, you probably saw us in the clip, debating what to do about this bed because this is where the rhubarb is and if I'd have made this bed as long as I've set it out to be, it'd be a bit annoying because it'd be off, like it not fit in with the plan. I mean Sam are quite, we like things to be in, you know, working order and also it would have meant that I'd had to chop up a load of uh, wood to make it longer so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a rhubarb extension a little extension for the rhubarb and uh, what? what? well Sam just wants to leave it but I don't want just rhubarb out and about so I'm going to see if I can build an extension extension that's absolutely fine look at that easy Sam doesn't like it but I'm CEO of this allotment so Get back to your digging. Oh, have you made a little step? Yeah. Like a pool? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, the frogs can't just jump out, can they? No, they can't. We'll have to put rocks and stuff that they can step out. But it's a good sized pond, that, I think. There's still room around to do flowers and stuff. Yeah. I did bring some bulbs with me, but I don't think we're going to do that today. Right, should we get the pond liner in? Try. Yeah? Yeah. Cool beans. Good effort, babe. 10 out of 10.
some perks of having a pond and why it's not actually raining anymore and why and why we want a pond um basically ponds attract wildlife like frogs and frogs eat slugs and if you've watched all of the vlogs you'll know my vendetta against the slugs at this plot and how much I dislike them so if the frogs want to eat them for me that really helps us both out so frogs like a pond also insects like a pond also it gives the birds somewhere to drink um, it basically encourages a natural order of things with like greenery and a source of water so it's good to have a pond and also it's just nice isn't it to have a pond just a nice thing to have we might fall in it at some point we might have to get some sort of fence barrier <laughs> and ted's probably gonna be very confused about it but yeah ponds are good we are going to get some pond plants and some oxygenating things and uh, we'll put rocks all around the outside and it will be more than just a puddle of water see if it's uh, not a cord on this corner it's what? not a cord in that corner what do you mean? well it's lifted up a bit okay not too much to do about it so yeah that's why we're doing a pond um, also I just wanted one so that's the pond I'm going to plant bulbs around the outside I want to get a head pop a hedgehog house and we'll get some plants that like naturally clean the water so it'll be nice water but yeah that's uh that's the pond oh yeah if you want frogs frogs can't they have to like have a step to get out so a plank of wood or rocks or something to help them get out but we'll organize that at some point yeah there you go pond You just you just start they digging. They just exist. Just start digging. They just exist. So I thought I'd just quickly. God, it's wet everywhere. Everything's wet, including me, including the dog. Sam's going to go and put Ted in the car in a minute. Um, because he's a bit soggy. But I thought I'd show you the bulbs that I've got. I don't. No, I said you're about to put Ted in the car. You're the one that's just told them you're about to wee in a bucket. We does help your compost get going. That's all I'm saying. It's natural. So I've got loads of bulbs. I don't know if I've shown this before. I might have done. I've either got these from the range or Home Bargains or B&M or somewhere of that ilk. Um, and it says I can plant them. It doesn't say when I can plant them. Oh, plant between January to June. So it's now February. So these are all right. So I've got these ones. These ones, I just pick them based on the picture on the packet because it's me. That's how I pick wine as well, just buy them in a bottle. Got all oh, dog poo bags, don't want that. Uh, some dahlias, but I don't think I'm going to plant them around the pond. I'm just going to plant. Where are the others gone? Come on, I had more than this. I'm sure we had more than that. Bear with me. I did have more than that got these as well irises and i'm just going to plant these randomly around the pond and hopefully get some nice color around the pond for summer
finished. We have finished. Uh, stopped raining eventually, but Ted was very soggy, bless him. Ted, he... Ted's been retired to the car. I don't think he had the best time today, but no. we didn't plan on it raining, so... No, um, we yeah. would like to. Pond's done. We just said we might get some gravel yeah. and put that round the outside. Um, just to and, blend in the liner a bit. And as I said, I'm going to get well. We're going to get some pond plants and some of those oxy oxygenating ones that help clean the pond. And maybe we'll get some frogs. There are frogs here. So if you watch, if you watch some of the uh, earlier vlogs, you'll know that we've actually found frogs. Sam's got like held frogs in his hand, so they do exist around here. Um, so if not, I'm introducing them. <laughs> if not, we're going to go on a frog spawn hunt. Um, but yeah, that is it. Look at that. It's great, isn't it? And we've got a daffodil blooming. Oh, what a great time. The only thing we've not done is there's one more wooden raised bed to do in the middle. That one behind the garlic. But I've got a separate plan for that because I want it to match the others, which means I need this decking board. Anyway, whole different plan for that. But other than that, I think I'll that's it's all the raised beds in. I've not managed to compost. I've not managed to do cardboard and compost on the others yet. Um, might wait till we get some more horse poo, horse manure before I put compost on them. But we're pretty, pretty close. I think in two weeks we're doing the greenhouse, starting to. Yeah, weather permitting. So we're definitely getting close. And an update on the chilies and everything at home is they're growing absolutely fine. Perfect. And in, I bought some more seeds. Insert clip here. <laughs> oh yeah, I can show you. So I can show you the seeds. You can see they're doing pretty well. These are the chilies and peppers. Um, they're a little bit leggy, but they're not too bad. I think they'll survive. So they're all right. Uh, those were the aubergines at the back. They've not done very well. I don't know what's happened. I'll replant them. And that's a leek, maybe. I don't know why the other onions haven't come up. Sweet peas, again, a little bit leggy, but I think they're all right. Um, I'll probably take them off the heat mat now and the rest are pretty much the same. So yeah, all the seeds are doing well. Once they get two leaves, I'll um, take them out of this setup and I'll put them on a windowsill upstairs, a sunny windowsill upstairs. Okay, are we back? Um, <laughs> I always think that's really funny because I just say it straight after, but there'll be a whole clip in there. So yeah, everything's doing well. Bought some more chilli seeds, going to plant them. Going to start our tomatoes this month. We're going for it. Oh yeah, we are indeed. Just a bit muddy today. Sam's better prepared than I am. I am well, never prepared. I saw the opportunity. <laughs> and bought some wellies. And uh, yeah, we'll These are actually good wellies, it's quite likely too. Garden centre wellies. Dobbies. The Shout best of. So yes, we'll go home. I might quickly plant that tree when we get home. Oh yeah, Sam bought a mystery fruit tree from the garden centre. It was on offer. And it had quid. no label, so for we're going to plant that at home. It's about the size of me as well, isn't it? It's about, it's about you know, it's six, quite a tall one. Yeah, I think it's about six foot. Six but foot we don't four. need to plant any fruit trees here because we've not been round to it. But the allotment man who showed us around the allotments um, said there's an orchard. Orchid. Orchard. Orchard, orchard. orchard just orchard. over there. Um, and as long as you help contribute and like tidy it up and prune and stuff, you can take whatever fruit you want. So we don't need fruit trees because there's already Crumbles an orchard. throughout the summer. So, yes, we've got the fruit tree at home. Anyway, we'll say bye. Bye. <laughs> Hello to everybody that's new, by the way. I said that at the start. Well, I'm saying it now. It. <laughs> you always do start without me. And uh, we'll see you on the flip-flop. Maybe next week. Who knows? Maybe not. Next time. <laughs> bye. Bye.